next week. Okay, yeah. Just yeah, okay? Because I left it in the other bag. You can do a little tease and then never refer oh, to yeah. it again. And then I'll bring it back. Uh, when you oh, remember. this is major. Oh, yeah, this is major. Okay, I'll, all right. I'll, give, I'll get two weeks out of it. Okay. Boy, okay. I only remember. Yeah, Tom Thomas and him. Oh, Tom Thomas and him tried to be like us. They, they, they posed wrong. They had yeah. the wrong guy on the wrong jacket. That's the only thing that made me mad. Did you see him? They did a picture. Him and Lucky Coke did a picture uh, with our jackets on on our set. But, but this jacket was over here. I was all confused. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Color coordinated. I mean, we've only done like 300 episodes. We don't have it. Boy. Remember? Because I sold them. Oh, did we? Yeah. But. But you they drink, the they, oh, here it is. Right here's my water. Oh, okay. I just got a little scared. Okay, I know you held Don't I hold else. water or something? Yeah, you hold the okay. water. Okay. I, it has been that long. I'm going to have to hold a drill, but that, a, a glue gun. But that wouldn't look right. No, it would not. Boy. I mean, you got a cup of coffee behind there. You can be like all the oh, wrestlers. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah, I hate coffee. that. All that one dude ball. I think coffee. that's why I stopped drinking coffee because everybody else is yeah, doing it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I really want to wear a fanny pack, oh, but I can't uh, because everybody else is. <laughs> that one goof wears a, takes a coffee cup to the ring with him. Oh, was, that's big heat with me over that, okay? And, it only, and his whole outfit don't match like, you know, uh, Blue Bloodish Bobby Eatonish, mm -hmm. where he's from, you know, London and we drink coffee. He's just like an old redneck with a coffee cup. Yeah, he just looks like a guy from Lynchburg, yeah, yeah, No, exactly, exactly. But I picked it up on the way to the ring. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see. They messed everything up, don't worry. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the edition of Daddy Work. You wrestle. You're the claps. You know what time it is, George. How was your weekend? Bullet. Oh, my goodness. Am I so happy to have you back. Okay? I know the Bullet, uh, Dayton Gamish, World Tourish. Has, very uh, world tourist. Oh, I, I love that boy. Very, very. Uh, but I don't want to say nothing because I, I hope it's still, uh, the, the, the booking is still booked. Uh, uh, but uh, anyway. Yeah, every, every, oh, good. Oh, I'm happy. Everything's still booked. Oh, yeah. Very uh, Pat benatar -ish. Yes. She was. Okay. I, I, had, she... I had to show her Pat Benatar Oh, was. did you? That's how young she is, George. Wow. Like, she uses the, the word fam correctly. Oh. Uh, like, 10 years younger than me. Oh. Uh, as I always say, I was like, look, uh, Harley needs somebody to push him around in a wheelchair. It's <laughs> all said and done. So I'm just, I'm just trying to. You're I just know, buying your time till I need that. Bullet, yeah, right? I gotta, see, that's what I figure. Is like I, as I get older and I get up in them years and I have a lot less ice cream seasons ahead of me, <laughs> I'm going to need a young, uh, strapping young lady oh, to boy. push me around in a wheelchair. And then I have some uh, goofy looking kid with a mustache <laughs> and a bald head that says I have to take uh, $200 yeah. out of your pay. And then we're going to count it all out. Yeah. I'm going to count it right out of the merch table. And then I'm going to give him a thumbs up with, yeah. with my hand that's got all the rings on it. So just. Uh, Boy, uh, did, but did you, what did she think? My, uh, I gotta know this right off the bat before we get started. What did she, did she, what did she think of Pat Benatar? I mean, because in my, you know, Pat Benatar's still very tough looking at this. She was like, oh, age. I've heard this song before at karaoke. Okay. That's how young she is. <laughs> well, that's good though, boy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because I, I thought you were going to say, yeah, she, she's heard Hell is for Children. Because, you know, that was Pat Benatar's song about beating kids up. But that ain't got nothing to do with it. I know. That didn't do too good, Pat Benatar. No, but, no, uh, no but Pat, Pat Benatar was always very crush. Uh, you know, I saw her a couple years ago when Journey came around. She opened up for Journey, and it's just her and her husband now. You know, her husband, she married the guitar player, you know, 40 years ago, and they're still together. But, oh, Lord, she works way too hard. You know, she. I mean, she... Lord, she was, she, she was good. That's what I'm saying. But and, and at this age, I just want to tell her to grab a hold. She wouldn't even grab a hold. She just kept going. But mm -hmm. anyway, uh, so I'm glad, uh, Bullet, that that small period in your life is okay. And, I thought you said, I'm glad that small period in your life has concluded, <laughs> and I can get back to producing yeah, the show. Yeah, no, I'm glad that you're back. Dang, yeah. I got knocked down the totem pole again, Mike Lee. Everybody, that's okay. Everybody got knocked down the totem pole. That's okay. That's everybody good, boy. Did. Oh, that's good. Boy, I'm living I'm living my high school days through you. I just want you to know that. So, anyway, welcome to the greatest show in the world. But believe it or not, I actually had two people that probably need a life ask me where our show had been. Okay? I know. I said, you kidding me, right? I thought I was waiting for a punchline, yeah. but they were really concerned about this top-rated television show. So anyway, that gets so, hundred viewers every week, hundred people. <laughs> and nine, nine, 100, uh, only hundred people watch this show, and I do appreciate but, every, all hundred oh, of yeah. you. But uh, at the same time, too, like but, if this show had ten thousand viewers every week, oh, oh yeah, oh, I, oh the date. Well, I mean, you, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd be no. here every week. Yeah, exactly. But 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 because of uh, obviously the content is not quality enough yeah. for the internet, we'll do this when we feel like. But, but that, so, see, and that's because exactly we're right. not doing this for no, views. No, exactly. Because we did. If we were doing this for views, oh, very kiss to what? the end of the road tour. This would be this like would be please. the most depressing uh, thing ever. If oh, we did you this got for that the views. Right. 
uh, boy, it's just like, uh, oh yeah, very uh, kiss of the end uh, uh, the world tour. They're just doing it for them. That's what we're doing. Yeah, we're, and, we do, and, we've and never done too, this for viewers. I'm not 100% sure that this one's going to have the intro on or not. I'm working on that right now. Like there's Dang! Boy, it left me. The Steve Perry left me, wait, Mike wait, Lee. I, I, the I, boogeyman I, feels low. I'm sitting on 4th Street waiting on Big Mama to come walk in. I got the computer back that we okay. work on the show with, okay. but I don't like how many times I'm seeing the pinwheel of death. That's concerning me. <laughs> like, I move the mouse, like, one way, and then the pinwheel of death, and then I go to click on something, pinwheel of death, and then I just, like... Type something was in. It, Everything I do, it is, I may need to get a new smooth RAM in it. Well, I may need a new whole computer. I don't you know. See, we're we're in the transition period. Like Journey was, they're waiting. You know, we we we're waiting on Steve Perry to make up a decision, and then uh, we'll have our things. Oh, Steve That's Perry. Steve Perry with, with bone cancer is far more agile yeah, than this computer that I'm working well, listen, on right we, now. Well, listen, we we went. Uh, uh, I, that's kind of why I watch it, be honest with you, for the theme song. But anyway, I wouldn't go tell you. I, anyway, I know. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try my best. But we've never, well, good. I guess what I'm saying is, we've never, we've never done this show for the for ratings. We've never done this show for the for the fans. If so, this you know is what I'm saying? That'd be Matter of fact, sad. But that's the reason we're going to keep doing it, just because the fans want us to quit. But anyway, uh, so much going on, boy. So much we got to talk about. I'm just trying, uh, in this photographic mind of mine, uh, I'm just trying to keep up with all this. But I heard something today, boy. I got to mention it before I forget it. Is it just doesn't even go together. Now, me, coming from the mountains of North Carolina, big Tweetsie Railroad-ish, Land of Oz-ish, theme park-ish kid when I was little, uh, in and out of, uh, uh, in and out of uh, foster homes, uh, they took me there just to uh, hang, let me hang out, okay? But, listen, I heard it, because you know, Tweetsie Railroad has changed so much over the years. You know, they had the big feud between the train and the family. It's a true story. The people that owned Tweetsie did not own the mountain. The family did, okay? So they were feuding for a long time. So the train... You could pay to go to Tweetsie, but the train went to the mountain and stopped. This is a true story. And backed up because the family that owned the mountain would not let the Tweetsie train go around the mountain. You know, that's a feud. But they worked everything out. Boy, I heard coming over here, and probably just because I know the history of Tweetsie, old-fashioned, uh, you know, bang, bang, shoot them ups and all that. Boy, I heard today that uh, I, can go I can go next week and meet, Michael, listen, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at Tweetsie. What? What the? Boy, that don't go together. You know what I'm saying? All I can hear is Eddie Money said, I want to go back, George. And I was saying, me too, Eddie, please. But it just, and I know it's all for And I, I'm pretty sure that's not licensed uh, Ninja Turtle. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's, but, I'm, that might be Chris Champion in a Calabunga outfit. But, boy, listen. It might be Dwayne Gill dressed up yeah. in a Ninja Turtle outfit. Oh, boy, it's the fake. Razor Ramon and Scott Hollis, yeah. Ninja Turtles, okay? But, boy, th that just didn't sound right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got the old-timey theme. You got, what are you going to do, put Raphael in jail? I mean, it's got the old bars. It's the, you know what I'm saying, the old saloon. Michelangelo can't walk in and try to pick up one of them can-can uh, girls at the saloon and play I'm just poker. Saying because of licensing, they can't. <laughs> yeah, licensing, that's, no. that's an issue. And what's so funny, boy, here's what, the only reason I brought this up because I just heard about it. It just didn't sound right. I mean, the two together like that, and they were promoting the Ninja Turtles. I, I only doubt Twincy Railroad has enough money. Is Twincy that bad? To, to, to license uh, uh, Ninja Turtles. And, and boy, that so, is a high commodity. That's a serious IP that you have just licensed well, well, for see, the summertime. But what's so funny is, and, and uh, I'm probably exposing all of it by even talking about it more on this great TV show. We're They'll not probably, exposing the, anything on the, the show, uh, not even ourselves. The, the FBI and the CIA are going to show up at Twincy and shut them down. But, boy, here, here's what's so funny about it, okay? So the whole concept now of Twincy is, of course, there's no more guns. Cowboys do not shoot Indians or anything like that, okay? It's just all the cowboys uh, dance and, and, and roast hot dogs. I mean, really, there's no old-fashioned gunfights no more, okay? So my question to our great viewers and to Mike Lee, who's sitting in on the set today, and to my great co-host is, what are they going to do at the front gate when the turtles show up with their weapons? I don't think this has been thought through. Bullet, do you? You see what I'm saying? You think you're going to, you think you're going to take uh, Michelangelo's nunchucks? Uh, seriously. Or maybe it so, was like when I wrestled as Deadpool for FSCW and I got these realistic guns. And even the lady that made them, like, oh, they put this, like, orange cap on it. And I go, I made sure I spray pointed that to make sure this look as real as possible. I can't tell me how many convention halls I've walked around in as Deadpool and like the police officers have stopped me and be like, they're like did you check that I go yeah I'm good and then walk right by because you know that's all, I love, that's all I love about police officers you can, like we, we, we can get in a whole discussion but if you have enough confidence and you look at them and go yeah it's good man 
they yeah, probably let you go. And, and, and see, but what's so funny is a turtle, a ninja turtle without his weapon is not going to be a ninja turtle. It's just going to be like an outlaw wrestler. You see what I'm saying? So you can't take like their 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 stick or their their knife or sword. So it's going to be uh, anyway. But uh, I had I had a conversation with my sister because uh, her little boys are getting into ninja turtles and. Uh, little boys are have come online enough they know that I exist in this world and they asked oh. me uh, they asked my, my sister what Uncle Jake's favorite Ninja Turtle was oh and, and of course I had to uh, had to sell an embarrassing part of my life my favorite Ninja Turtle was Donatello oh you know oh. the one with the stick yes. the lame ass one yeah with the stick. yeah yeah and, exactly. <laughs> and, and and I go that's because I was a contrarian and nobody liked Donatello so I picked Donatello because I know if I wanted something Donatello I could always get it. Like uh, they'd always be, there'd be like fifteen Donatellos <laughs> on the shelf, and there'd be no Michelangelos yeah, and no yeah. Leos, because Leo's got the swords, and you want Leo. No, exactly. So it'll be interesting to see. I just think that's a weird concept. I know they're they're just making money, whatever. You get to you get to photo op with the Ninja Turtles and all that, and I'm sure you can do the big, you do individuals, or you do the big. But anyway, just see, in that setting. I'm is just what saying, I'm I can saying. go and get a picture with Donatello. Nobody's lining up. To figure, <laughs> and all the Evo kids are lining up for Raphael. Yeah, yeah. So. so it was just, and I know you know. Tweets is a great idea. It'd be great fun for the kids, but it just in this in that make sense world, it just didn't make sense. I mean, what are you gonna do? You gonna ride the old time western train and see four turtles walking over on the track? It's just it don't go together, Michael. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, uh, you know about like movie stars coming into wrestling. That ain't worked out too good. But anyway, uh, boy, so much going on. Or well, Russ is going into comedy. Trust me, it's yeah. been a. <laughs> It's been a rough road the last couple of days. I'm I'm tired of these veteran comedians just feeling like they need to exert their power over me. I'm getting very like I'm, I was like and like I get these guys these these old uh, comedians and they want to like say something bad to me and I'm just I'm sitting there going I've already gone through this in uh, oh yeah I have to so go that, through that, that's this what I'm saying I have to go Boy, through this in comedy no, no, now you don't pay listen where they make example of younger <laughs> comics to, to, to exert no. their power and I'm just I'm just so I'm so sick of it. Well, you don't paid your dues. For any other thing that you want to do. And now I gotta pay my dues now in comedy. And not only that, but me doing so made me late uh, so I can go promote. I missed out on an opportunity to promote one of my shows and almost missed my, my second spot because oh, I'm man. working hard. And this one comic's gotta tell me all the places he's going, anywhere he's booked, <laughs> but he just happened to be at the same place I am on a Monday night getting drunk. And he wants to fucking. And he wants to make an example out of me. So, great. Well, what's funny, uh, Bullet, is you, wrestling qualifies you. You done paid your dues for it. I don't care if you go do water polo with you you that you've done paid your dues in water apparently polo. not okay apparently not uh so much going on boy soon in just a few short days i hope that everything's still good sunny and share uh with greg allman which is uh 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 sand lane we will be at the knoxville comic con yeah right in yeah, a few yeah. days all of us the whole the band will be back together okay same you're gonna love this guess what i'm doing oh we're gonna drive and do that show right do the show turn off come back oh man as we do uh, i'm doing a comedy show uh, here in Charlotte for that Saturday night, and then I drive back to Knoxville the next. <laughs> really? <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> really? I hate. I hate everything about my life. Boy, I hate wow. every single second of it. Oh, so are you coming? Oh, we'll talk about that. So, oh, except for the that. past two weeks, the past two weeks was great. Oh, yeah. oh man, the well, rest I of it. Man, I, I thought well, I'd be I doing this show. Doing by, I thought me and Mike Lee be doing this show. I am working way too hard to be toiling away in obscurity. <laughs> Bullet, listen, so much going on, uh, Bullet. Uh, one of the first times, i got to share this with you real quick. I tried to send a picture to everybody, but Michael, no, the Vince didn't get it, and I don't think nobody got it. Bullet, first time ever in 40-something years of pro wrestling, listen to me. I went and worked for a guy uh, Saturday night in South Carolina. Bullet, I get into the arena, no big deal, the small, very small gymnasium. They are setting up a ring. Guess what, Bullet? Mr. Number One goes in and just turns his head to the left, and guess what? There's a whole nother wrestling ring set up. Okay, now listen. I love the story. But right? now listen, it's not war game-ish, okay? It's the opposition. It, it's, it's another promoter's ring that ran. I mean, I'm not dogging anybody. Bless their heart. I love the building guy because he's making a fortune. Yeah. But, Mike Lee. So there's a whole other ring already set up that got left up. They get, that, that promoter from the first Saturday got to leave it up. Does that make sense? So when I asked these guys, why didn't y'all just rent this ring? Okay? They said, no, 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 that's, that guy's, that's the enemy. Right? That's the opposition right there. So, well, listen to me. So, uh, Okay, so you uh, set up another ring out of spite? Yeah. I don't, I don't, listen, I'm a spiteful person. I've done a lot of things in my life based out of spite. I don't know if I would ever set up another wrestling ring out of spite. No, boy, there was two rings, and there was no room, Harley. Maybe, maybe twenty chairs. 
I mean, and I, me, I'm so like uh, holding a grudge-ish, I'd have, I'd have colored it off. I mean, I'd have, I'd have hung a curtain or something, but as the first time that I'd ever seen two uh, available rings set up in the same small gymnasium, and they only used one of them. And I thought, buddy, that is some cutthroat uh, opposition right there. And, 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 seen... and people are wondering when I'm going to wrestle in South Carolina next. <laughs> Well, and, and people are making headways and putting it at the top of their agenda to making sure the man's scout can wrestle in South Carolina again. And I'm gonna. And this is going that's on. That's where you're going to end up. Uh, I I'm should, missing much. My only mistake is I should have asked the building guy when can I run a show there before I left. He he had, he had left. Put so, three rings so, up. Yeah, put <laughs> three, three rings. World War three. Yeah, listen, yeah, <laughs> little World War three. Okay, but I had never. There had to be something. Don't you think that town's probably being run too much if the, they get to leave the ring in there? But uh, anyway, I, I had never, it was just weird to me because I thought it was going to be, you know, what we said, two ring war games or something like that. Oh, no, no, it's completely different. It was from the show uh, the week before, and, and they just got to leave it up till they run again, yeah. which will be in a couple weeks. So uh, anyway, uh, first time ever that I'd experienced anything like that. And it just, uh, and they took the one down, like, you know, when the show's over. And left the other one, <laughs> left the other one up. I thought, Lord. Uh, anyway, so if you, you know, I know where two rings is. So anyway, uh, just a few side notes. Well, this week, uh, the, the, this weekend, you got a lot uh, going on, or just crazy? Mm. I, mean, I got one question. Okay. Is Pat Benatar still in the same atmosphere? No. As, well, okay. I just She's had in a ask. different hemisphere. I, I just had to ask that. Okay. No, she's different yeah, hemisphere. Yeah, very good. Did she? she yeah. Was she, this her she, first She's actually trip? already on Wednesday. She's on Wednesday right now. <laughs> oh, me and her get along great. Right? I get she, her calendar probably says Wednesday. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Her. See, see, boy, the Lord is good. <laughs> Seriously, listen. I've never Clayton. disputed that. Now listen, never the Lord disputed. is good because several episodes again we had that uh, we had that discussion where I was a little off. Uh, you thought the calendar year started in December? Y- yes, not I January. did. Yes, I did. And 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 I still have a hard time realizing it didn't. But anyway, but that was just land because I feel like <laughs> when that was told to you in like third grade, you're like, yeah, I it. know, I missed it, boy. Uh, but listen, that you spent too much time at Twinsies Railroad. Oh yeah, that's a problem, yes. George. And they just killed that too. <laughs> you know, terrible. you know the whole geographic uh, layout of Twinsies <laughs> Railroad. But that day they were telling you about calendars. You're like, nah, I got it. That's very true, bullet. That's very true. That's when I, I, I just, I didn't need no calendar. I was becoming Paul Jones at that time. But, bullet, listen to me. Uh, so, anything, our discussions with that calendar-ish in, in, uh, in the, uh, the leap year or whatever it was, uh, was laying a foundation for you later on. Yeah. I really believe that with all my heart. So, uh, just to help you maybe with your further travels or something when you got to set your clocks or set your calendars. Uh, because it is, it's, it's, it's in the future. Yeah, exactly. She's, she's in the future. So, exactly. She already knows this relationship yeah. is going to work out. Yeah, good. Like, that's well, already like. Well, let me mention this now, but on a personal note, is it was this her first trip to the 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 island, the states, the uh, here? Was this her first trip? Uh, you uh, mean or, the continent? Yeah, yeah, here, to here. Yeah, the, the, the now, now she lives on an island. Okay. I think okay. you're confusing that she lives on okay. an island. Okay. Okay. This is a continent. Did she? Island. Did she? The traffic had to freak her out. Um, or no? Was she okay with? with no, she the, actually she came over about two years ago. Oh wow! So she and she drove from Massachusetts all the way down to Arizona. Wow! Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So she's she's nothing. Can, oh yeah, nothing's yeah. nothing. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, keep in mind, she's from Australia. She, she would just go to Twitch World Road and have a good time with the turtle. Yeah. Nothing's going to disrupt she's her. Fought, she's likely. fought kangaroos before. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, her dad's Paul Hogan. So like, she, I mean, I love that. Very, oh, very, very. Right. So, uh, anyway, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get on that. No, but she, she left this past Saturday. Okay, great. Real, real rough. I think she's finally getting back in the flow of things again. It was, it was real tough, tough leaving, but there's already talk of a return date, uh, also talk of move-in dates. Oh, brother. All kinds of things have been going on, so. Boy, boy, I just felt these chairs. I think it was just the wind. Michael, I felt these chairs separating just a little bit. Now, okay. now we've already, Look, we, we, so we. I'm just, gonna start crying. Uh, let, okay. me, let, let me break. Let me break. First, let me, the Ninja Turtles at Twisty, then Bullet Jake. It's gonna be Bullet Jake. It's gonna be Three's Company up here on the set. But let, let gonna, me make. I'm gonna be Don Knotts, the, the old timey guy with the weird suits that lives upstairs. Mm-hmm. Okay, but anyway, I'm sorry, Bullet. But let me, but let me, let me make you feel a little bit better and and talk to you in your language okay. so you understand what I'm saying. Now, just because Johnny Tatum. Has a start date with Crockett, don't mean oh, he's this. not gonna like drive all the way out here, right? And, with, with with his caravan on the back, and right. then turn around and go back. Go, go and back, leave. right? There's no there's no guarantee 
the Johnny Tatum is gonna work. Crap. Right, right. <laughs> He's gonna be here. There's, there's a start date given, but there's right. no guarantee you're just going to turn around right back. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, Rick Root has at least shown up yeah. to Georgia Television. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, I love and that. was booked. Yeah, yeah. That they, has at least happened. Yes, exactly. So, so the anticipation and the ner and the excitement of getting here, whether, whether uh, Rick Root got here, whether he's booked or not, he was just excited about coming. There's no guarantee uh, that Billy Jack Haynes is going to come here, <laughs> get a Starcade, and then then hold up Dusty. Yes, exactly. At, in his office. <laughs> And then gone the next week. There's no, there's no guarantees there. I'm not, I'm not saying that that. Well, you remember everything. I, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> it's just saying, well, I'm very, I'm very proud that a few things that we have shared, uh, sometimes late now on road, sometimes not on road, is as as uh, engraved in your in your heart in your heart. I'm just I'm saying, there's no that. guarantee that Ole's going to show up here and just stay here forever. <laughs> there's no guarantee on that. Oh, I love that, Bullet. <laughs> uh, that's very Bullet Jake Manish. you just passing through. Very Chuck Norris, and you just happened to stop and see what was going on at High Spots, and you've been here for, for 15 mm -hmm. years. Uh, so, anyway, real quick, Bullet, we got to touch on this. Real quick, Bullet, we got to touch on this. And I know you've seen this. Uh, Michael, you've probably seen this all over the news. Bullet, listen to me. Grover, North Carolina, which is right below Kings Mountain, okay? A little small town. Can I have wrestled there. Uh, D.L. Cool ran a show there one time, and, and we had a heck of a house. Uh, uh, I fought Ricky Morton, but listen, Grover's a real small town. Bullet, listen to me. I'm not making this up. Ooh, I think I but, wrestled the Barbarian there. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes. Remember? Because I remember, I'm yes, because Barbarian asked to work with you because mm -hmm. it was going to be our door at Jimmy Jack Funk, but Jimmy Jack Funk beat him, you know, hurt the Barbarian because he couldn't work. Yeah, so I, rem I remember this show vaguely. Very old school as Jim. Yeah, kind of. and, yes. and it was it was like a Friday night, and I remember you were it, there, bullet. It was very confusing because like it's just over the state line itself. Yes, and, like, just right on the state line. So like there was like we crossed the state line like three times, yeah. and then there's this whole thing. Are we sure it's not Grover, South Carolina? But it was like Grover, yes. North Carolina. Bullet. That is so good it, that you remember so, this. Yeah, so I, that I, just I don't remember much about the show other than that, and then going across the state uh, line like six. Time. But listen to me, you this that just helps with this story, okay? Because you're exactly right. The Grover, it's like North Carolina, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina. It, it is not even. I, I can't even believe it. it I mean, depending Grover, on when the wind blows, it could be on either side. Yeah, and there's like a Grover, North Carolina, and South Carolina. So it's like the like the poor man's uh, Bluefield, West yes. Virginia, and Virginia. Yes. The poor man's version of Bristol, Tennessee, and Bristol, but, Virginia. So. Listen to this. Now uh, you ain't gonna believe this. So, Bullet, listen to me. Two weeks ago. A bear. Now I'm not. There's no punchline here. This ain't a guy in a Ninja Turtle suit. A bear. A big black bear got loose in Grover. Okay. okay. So listen to me. So people on Facebook and and social media, they're actually instead of like one of them map GPS Santa Claus is coming. They were like keeping up with this bear. I'm serious. A big old huge bear. Okay. And boy, this, this thing's loose like in Grover. Okay, and and and, and people are ta taking pictures of him in his backyard. Okay, so which is kind of cool until he eats your kids. But but listen, but nobody from like animal control or anybody has has even tried. To, so three days this bear is loose in Grover, our town. But listen, and I it's not my town. But, <laughs> you but can listen, claim it all you want. Oh, moments. it ain't my town now. But I, listen, mean, I don't barely remember being but, there. But this is going to end sad. The way this is going on, of course, this ain't going to be our last story because I want to end on a good note. But this is going to end sad. Well, that's okay. Bullet, we can get, end right here. Bullet, guess what? Bullet, the bear gets run over on 85. And listen to me. They show a picture. You can still see it on Facebook. They've got the picture of the ba the dead black bear, Michael Lee, laying in the middle of the freaking Interstate 85. And, bullet, cars are going around it. And then some guy says, some guy posts, well, that's all she wrote for the Grover Bear. <laughs> no! Bullet, where is the compassion here? Uh, that's a pretty big high note right there. <laughs> I mean, you see what I'm saying? Where is... I, can I do something? Can I, can I sue somebody or something? I mean, shouldn't, shouldn't, somebody should have been... It wasn't the bear's fault, but why didn't somebody? And I'm not making well, this up, folks. I mean, folks. the only way that bear could have sued if it was a pizza truck, <laughs> and, and that bear's <laughs> name was the Warlord, and yeah. he's still like, even though he's got a settlement saying he can't wrestle anymore, yeah. he still wrestles still and still does like basis of fear stuff, but it's tag stuff. So listen, it, it's like it's like uh, this bear should have been insured by Lloyd's of London, like all the wrestlers were, and then all the wrestlers. Uh, started wanting to wrestle again, so they all had to pay back the Lords of London money. Yeah, but, and, the, and the bear no should have like a, like a half 
silver thing with, a, with like a W1. Boy, uh, I am not lying. It was the saddest picture I've ever seen. It's people, and ain't nobody stopped on Interstate 85 to like at least roll the bear off the road. And they're going around it like that. And then somebody they're just very outlaw Josie Wells. <laughs> they're like, "What should we do this bear to, a to no. ace the, the bear?" Yeah, it uh, yeah like exactly. That. But it was just weird because maybe the animal control people didn't get the call. Maybe there is nothing in Grover that you can go catch a bear with and put it up. What are you gonna do with it when you catch it? But it was just weird that they showed the progress of this bear. And it eventually made it to the interstate, and it didn't make it across the interstate. I just thought that was kind of sad. I mean, bear, bear well, people, you, you got to find them. I mean, they're snake people. Yeah. We run into snake people all the time. People yeah. book Jake the yeah. Snake Roberts. <laughs> bear people can't be any weirder than snake people. No, no. And apparently we find a way to get in touch with snake people when we book If Jake I would have only known Bullet, I, we could have captured a bear and, and, and gave it to Tweetsie. Donated it to Tweetsie. You see what I'm saying, Mike Lee? And put it, put it up there somewhere. And put let a it robe roll. on it, call it Splinter. It'd be great. It'd be great. <laughs> oh, but we could have got it. Oh, that's good. We could have got it. We could have got it booked to Splinter. Bullet. What the heck? But anyway, so it was just a sad, very sad note, Bullet. And I, 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 I didn't. Somebody should have stepped in. I thought. Uh, bullet, but anyway, so uh, poor bear, he didn't make it. But anyway, so uh, anything else, Bullet? Before. Oh, boy, I got a good idiot of the week, if you okay, don't mind. Well, let's just do that. Like I said, just doing FC, FSCW this weekend, of course. Oh. I Come out for PWX this Sunday. Do some Thunder Liger. That's all I need to say. <laughs> Park Center this Sunday. That's it. That's uh, all I need to know this week. Bull, everybody knows my love. Real quick, everybody knows my love for Bojangles. Okay, I love it. I just, I, I, you He's know, trying just to, I was trying to explain it to, to Pat Benatar while oh, she was here. Oh, boy. Oh, did, did, did y'all go or no? Uh, oh. no, we did not go. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. She, she is a vegan, so... Oh, I got um, you. Okay. Yeah, that... that but you're not veganish, right? No, no, I, no. I, I'm beef beef. Oh, yeah, beef. you're... you're oh, I'm gosh. Uh, Man. I'm, the, I'm the opposite. Boy, of you had me worried. If I present you with that football... <laughs> I'll find another one. If I present you with that football... Uh, roll a turkey. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Don't you want to have some meat? I mean, I've had this since football season. Yeah, boy. Like, is that attractive to you? Like, if I, I thank you. Well, for I, I, up, I, I, I did get her to try some some brisket. From oh yeah, okay. Smokehouse. Yes, yeah. And uh, she actually asked to get a return there. Oh, I love she had that. that. Twice while she was here. Oh. So, uh, right. I've corrupted her more than she's corrupted me. But I'll tell you <laughs> what, though. Just I discovered Bean, which is a vegan restaurant. It's across the street from Bojangles Coliseum. Yeah. Oh, one of the best burgers you'll ever have. And it's not meat. Oh. Just check it out. Wow. Here you're in um, town? I mean, right across here? Right, right, right off wow. Independence. Wow. Right, like Bullet. 10 minutes away from the office. You should, you should, you no, should I know, get the I'll, I know that area because you know what's so funny? Right across, and I'm sure it's real close to what you're talking about, is where when our buddy Dick Bourne came into town and done the story on Ric Flair's uh uh, big uh, 10 pounds of gold and they mm -hmm. did that book on it well the lady in that little small house right beside where you're talking about is the lady that actually back in the day framed uh, that belt and all that for, oh, for okay. Ric Flair all so right. they were able to go to her and she was the only one that could take it out without destroying it so they could actually take close up that, pictures yeah, yeah. and stuff so anyway anyway, bull, so I go in Bojangles okay I Ooh. timed it just right bullet nobody's in line okay I go through the drive through I eat the same thing just a little egg and cheese biscuit a little fattening, but a little bit of healthy there, okay? And and, 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 my, and my strawberry jet. So anyway, so I go in, boy. I mean, I go through the drive through a different guy, okay? A little jerkish right there. Uh, uh, and I give my order, and he ain't even looking me in the eye, and that really ticked me off. But anyway, let's just, so boy, so I put my order in. He takes my money, and guess what? He asked me to pull up. But, brother asked me, can you pull up? But listen to him. The Dick Slater in me come out. You see what I'm saying? But look, there's nobody in front of me. Would you yell at Caleb in a wheelchair in an airport <laughs> with food shooting out of her mouth? That's what you turned into? But look, listen, there's nobody behind me. There's nobody in front of me. Why, if you're not prepared, I know it's kind of early morning, but if you're not prepared already for just a simple egg and cheese, you're gonna you're in for a long day, okay? So listen to this, boy. So he asked me to pull up, okay? Guess what? I pulled out the NWO shirt, Mike Lee. I said, no, I'm not going to pull up. I mean, why should I pull up? I said, no, I'm not. And boy, his face, bullet, was just, he couldn't, I don't think he's ever been told no, but I said, no. I said, uh, no, sir, I'm going to sit right here. Oh, bullet, it about shut down Bojangles, okay? And I have it in the car, but I was too lazy to go get it. I'm going to bring it back. So listen to me. So I said, no, I'm going to sit right here. It's an egg and cheese biscuit, for heaven's sake. How hard can it be? Well, I'm the only one in line. So I said, no, I'm not going to pull up. First time I've ever done it. Bullet, in my older age, I'm getting very NWO-ish. 
Okay, uh, not not the Latino NWO when it didn't mean nothing, but this is this is like or the NWO like, black and white. Yeah, and Virgil, yeah, yeah. Mean, and like and, 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 no, exactly. And uh, uh, Hugh, uh, uh, not uh, uh, Hugh Morris, not Hugh Morris, but uh, one Hogan. They even made that horse. horse. Yeah, not horse on another. Yeah. Now this is when. Right when it happened, end up yellowish. Okay, mm -hmm. so anyway, bullet list him. I told him no, I'm not gonna pull up. So guess what? So anyway, I, I still he still makes me wait. I know that's my biscuit right there on that counter, and he's just making me wait. Bullet list him. But here's what he did. And I got proof, and I'll bring it next week to our viewers. It's a cliffhanger. Okay, I just introduced a cliffhanger for next week. But you know what he did to get even with me? What? Now he gave me my biscuit. Okay, and just like <laughs> you know, and I said thank. He didn't say thank you. I mean, I said thank you. He didn't say welcome. So I said thank you another eight times. Till brother, well, brother thought his unwelcome was going to outlast my thank you. It didn't. So anyway, and guess what? So he gives me, I got it in the car. You ain't going to believe this. He gives me my biscuit, okay? And, and but I look in, 32 packs of ketchup, I mean, of, of jelly. Because, you know, I had told him earlier I needed a that's strawberry your punishment? jelly. Yeah, well, I think that's what he thought he would get. If that's, you your, know if that's your punishment, he didn't realize uh, no, he did that to you. You but, got enough jelly for the rest well, of the year now. But nobody will ever believe this. And he even makes some you're great. Gonna, you're going to make him some, like, great soup. <laughs> but, yes. But listen, he Hot but, water, you've been back to Kansas City. <laughs> that's grape soup. Grape great. Juice. That's great grape soup. Right <laughs> but listen, he even makes some grape in there, like, to really stick it to me. You know what I'm saying? So when I get the bag, boom. It's You're like going to be fermenting what? wine out of your toilet bowl with that grape. <laughs> but so I, I saved it. I mean, of course, I, you know, I ate the Yeah, best I know you saved it. You're going to be using it for the rest of the year. But, but I guess. Well, you got him. Don't him give him, <laughs> him more free stuff than he was allotted. Good job. Please, yeah, very Matt Hardy is in the Corvette. Please stick it to me. Okay? Please screw me. Please screw me at the boat. <laughs> Please screw me at the Bojangles, okay? But anyway, so I got four, I got thirty, I bet thirty-six packs, and and I want to use it, boys. I want to get the guy fired. I think if I go to headquarters and say, now I know why y'all have to charge so much for my biscuit is because your employees are wasting y'all's products. So this is where you need you a Twitter account, George. Oh, boy. I know this is a threshold you don't want to cross. Boy. But this is what you can do on Twitter. I know Mike Lee's shaking his head. Oh, but man. I'm just saying. You, You'd have to limit how much you you text, but don't oh, worry. You, hard. You've been texting like a little girl for a very long time. So <laughs> you know, you know shorthand. Yes, well yes. enough. Yeah. To, to cram it in to that 280 characters. Right. Oh Lord. Just saying that the world is missing out on George South Twitter. Account. Oh boy, if I, but can you? I, I I get banned off there. I think. Yeah, well, you would, what, for sure. Oh, you, but that's why I'm not on there. Right? Oh yeah. Oh, I need to if get you, on there. If you get boy. banned, you just become more famous. That's oh, all it is. oh, I love that. You do your time, boy. come back. I mean, I'm thinking about saying some crazy stuff on there. <laughs> and say it from the heart. Then they, they, they wait for you to come back. They not apologize. Well, anyway, so he, 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 I guess he thought he got the best of me, which he didn't. Uh, but he actually was helped me. Yeah. Okay? You see what I'm saying? But I just thought the concept of him, the attitude of him, anyway, and uh, I, I was early in the morning, so you're thinking, you, you should have used me, this old goofy guy there at the window, to prepare you for the rest of the day. So I'm sure he had a miserable day after I left because, oh, yeah. uh, you know, I, I, why should I pull up? I mean, they forget about you most of the time anyway. So, uh, anyway, so we will I mean, throw... I forget about Grover, North Carolina all the time. <laughs> but what do you think he's going to care you, about you? Yeah. <laughs> you kill a black bear on the interstate and just keep going, bullet. But, boy, don't, don't, ask, don't, don't ask brother to pull up. Yeah, it, it takes a, a, the murder of a bear for me to go, oh, yeah, I wrestled there before. <laughs> Every time a bear gets murdered, I go, oh, yeah, I've wrestled that time before. <laughs> well, I'm sure if you go down 85 right now, they got a big old white chalk mark around the bear. They're trying to find out what happened. But, Here uh, lies it, Splinter. It, it probably... <laughs> <laughs> that tweets your railroad. Yeah. Well, uh, anyway, so we're going to throw this young man at the Bojangles drive through who thought he got the best of me, which he didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to be drinking grape juice for the next six months. Mm -hmm. Okay? Fermenting uh, grape wine out no, of your toilet. That's exactly right. So thank you, buddy. So anyway, we will throw him in the idiot bag. Okay? Which makes, uh, so, I think Bojangles is probably in the top five now of idiot bag entries. Uh, oh, yes, they are. It's still a long uh, ways away from the Dallas Cowboys no. or anything associated. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, Lord. And, and people at the bank. But it has most no. certainly been moved in and out to the type uh, five. Oh, yeah. They're going to have their own bags. Before long, we're going to have uh, our own set of bags with the logo on each one of who, who has ticked us off. So, anything else real quick, boy? I know uh, we got a lot Just come out on. to Grady Cole Center this Sunday. Um, please pray for me. And if you have X in your gimmick name, please stop making examples out of me. I don't, uh, I don't need to be yelled at. I've got enough stuff already that's bogging me down and beating me up.
so much going on, Bullet. Uh, we'll 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 do a little ten, uh, ten bell salute to the bear at the next show, but we'll hit we'll hit the bell eight times. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you know, and then they, then the hills and the bay face you're getting ready to do a ten bell salute to someone. It's the bear that's passed, but the wrestlers are in the back arguing: do we go out together or do the hills go out this side and bay face out that side? Just shut up. Anyway, so <laughs> but so much going on, folks. Listen to me. If you don't want to get run over like that bear, don't be reading the second greatest book of all time while you're crossing the street <laughs> to get to highspots.com. Well, this book is available if you want to know more about what I'm doing this weekend. Or like you said, if you have an X in your, your handle name and you just want to yell at me about something about me not being good at anything, uh, go ahead and hit me up on Twitter at Manscout Manning or on Instagram at Manscout Manning. This has been another edition of Daddy Don't Work, You Wrestle. Good show, boy. Very good show. Thank you for holding it together, boy. Try. <laughs> right, try. Oh boy! Very split. The splinter is about did it for me. What a what, oh bullet! What a great booking for the bear. I'm on you fire know, today. You know what I'm saying, bullet. I'm on fire. We got you. Got to use some of this. Oh, I got a, don't worry. I got a, I got a podcast and a show. I got to do before the end of the day. So. <laughs>